Hallelujah. God bless you, everyone. Happy Sunday. We we'll bring you greetings from Mesha Gospel Ministry International. Yes, that's a new name. The ministry is moving. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Today I'm going to briefly talk on the topic I titled Faith and Heavenly Currency. Praise the Lord. You know, the Bible said in the book of Hebrews chapter 11, said, Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Praise the Lord. So I'm going to major mainly on the evidence not seen. Hallelujah. He said the substance of things substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So when you say the substance of things hoped for, that means you are hoping for something. There is something that you need. Praise the Lord. So what do you need to get this uh, whatever you need what do you need to get it that's faith amen and the bible said it said then that come to god he that come to god must believe that he is and again that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him that means you have to keep trusting god you have to keep trusting God you have to apply patience when you need something for God because sometimes whatever you want for God is going to come immediately sometimes it's going to take time so you have to apply patience praise the Lord the evidence of things not seen you have not seen it but you believe that you will receive it the word of God said said with God all things are possible so as a child of God if you don't believe in that Bible verse that says with God all things are possible then you have not started praise the Lord another verse said it said calling those things that be not as though they were you have not seen them but you believe that God can make it happen. That is faith. It's just like, faith is just like uh, uh, the currency, the, the healthy currency we use. You go to the market, you want to buy something, you need the healthy currency, you need money to buy whatever you want to buy. That is what faith is in the kingdom of God. Faith is the currency of which we use to reach God. And without faith, you cannot actually receive from God. But because the Bible says, "He that cometh to God must believe that He is, and He is the rewarder of them that diligently seek Him." So without faith, you get nothing. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord. So, so get whatever you need. You need faith. Faith. Even if it's not coming, you might look stupid. People are going to call you names. But you believe with God all things are possible. You believe that the Bible says weeping may endure for the night. Say, but joy cometh in the morning. You believe when the time of God comes that you are going to surely receive. That is faith. And when you are in this realm, Whatever anybody says is not supposed to matter. It's what the word of God says that is supposed to matter to you. For you to actually receive that which you have been believing God for. So you see that as a child of God, for you to receive, for you to operate fully as a child of God, you need faith. Faith is an heavenly currency faith is that is is that we use to reach god to achieve to receive whatever we need for god that is faith 
Praise the Lord. I don't know whatever you are trusting God for, but me, I believe that with God, all things are possible. I believe there is nothing that God cannot do. By God's whole spoken word, He made the heaven and the earth. He said, "Let there be light." The Bible said the earth was. It was. It was. It was, it was without, uh, uh, it was formless, it was formless. And God, by his own spoken word, he, he spoke the word, he spoke the word. You see, we, are, we, are, we, are, uh, uh, we have to be careful. The Bible said there is power, there is power in our tongue. There is power because as a child of God, you carry power. God spoke for the word and he, this whole world that we live in, it, it, came, to, it, it, it came to existence. Hallelujah! The Bible said it, it, it was formless and uh, it was it was it, it was shapeless. Nothing was out of it, and God just he, he spoke forth His word, and this whole head it came to existence. And we are living in it. We are enjoying it. It's by it's by, it's by God's uh, spoken word that we are enjoying what we are enjoying today. The same way, that same authority that God has given to us, God has given us that authority to 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 call for those things that we need. You know, that is faith. You call, you call for the thing. You speak it forth. Whatever you need, it might not be happening right now, but it's going to happen. That is faith. You keep speaking it. You keep speaking it until you receive because it's never over until you win hallelujah so i just want to encourage someone out there i don't know what you'll be believing god for but i believe as far as he's in accordance this accordance to the will of with the will of god you are going to receive whatever you have been believing god for keep trusting god keep speaking forth those things keep speaking it forth just like God spoke, light there be light, and there was light. Keep speaking, keep calling for those things, those things that you have not seen, but you believe that God can give them to you. Keep speaking them forth, and you will receive it in the name of Jesus. So I'm going to leave it here today. I just want to encourage someone. Is a, is, a, is, a, is a good year and God has so many things in stock for us this year. It's a blessed year. It is not your duty. It is not your, in your position for you, for you to start speaking for us, for you to start calling for those things which you have believing God for because God have a lot of good stuff for us this year 2023. So keep speaking it. We still have time. We are still in the month of April. Keep calling those things for those things that you have been believing God for that it, 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 it seems impossible. I want you to apply your faith and keep and, and keep speaking for those things and you see it come to manifestations in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. By the grace of God, I remain Pastor Mrs. Precious Sylvester Osayanda Onyeze, or you can call me by my stage name, Precive. God bless you. See you some other time. Shalom. God bless you.